Hello and welcome back to Angel's Kitchen and Cocktails. Today I will be preparing for you an old 17th century Polish dish, pierogies. Apparently this was spotted in the 17th century in old Polish cookbooks and I am very intrigued by this dish and, and kind of challenged to cook it and make it for you today. This is my very first time so good luck to me. I'm sure it'll be just fine. Um, today's cocktail is uh, a Charleston Spicy and Bold Bloody Mary with an Old Bay Rim, so cheers to that. Let's take a sip real quick before we get started. Okay, so today, so let me break it down to you what we're gonna be cooking with our ingredients. Of course, we have our dough that we are going to be making the actual pierogies out of. And then we have some garlic cloves. I'm gonna explain that to you in a second. We have olive oil, butter, of course, some onions that we're gonna caramelize, kosher salt, some curly parsley that we're gonna be using for garnish. Of course, we have the mashed potatoes or potatoes that we're gonna mash, sour cream, and some shredded cheese. And that's pretty much it for Before this. Before we get any further, we're gonna put these potatoes in the boiling beef broth. I'm not using plain water. I am using beef broth to give the mashed potatoes an extra good flavor, and then we'll talk about those garlic cloves. Okay, the potatoes are in, they're boiling. We're gonna cook those until they are tender and we mash them. I will be adding something that's not so traditional to the caramelized onion, onions. I will be adding um, garlic cloves. So these are full garlic bulbs. What I do with these is I open them up. I'll show you how I prepare them. So I just open them up, cut the top off. So you want it to look like that. And you're just gonna peel back a few of the paper skin, but you wanna keep it intact. So you don't wanna take off all of the skin. And then you're just going to drizzle some delicious olive oil right in there. And then you're just going to put some kosher salt in there. And that's literally all you have to do for the garlic. They do take about 45 minutes to bake in the oven or roast rather, but I did already cook some because of time and I have the finished product for you. So that's what they're gonna look like and these are absolutely delicious. So I will be adding these to the caramelized onions when they're almost done. Speaking of, we need to get them cooking. Okay, we are about to start caramelizing the onions. So I'm using about a tablespoon of butter and I want that to look just like it's looking. I have created my skillet. Got this on about medium. A little bit later, I might turn it down to medium low because these are gonna take sometimes 30 to 45 minutes to get where we want them to get. We're just gonna make sure they're coated nicely and all of that butter. Now the difference between sauteing onions and caramelizing onions is that when you saute them, you're really just trying to get them tender and kind of transparent and they're done. When you caramelize, you want to get them to a, cons a consistency that's very like syrupy, brown, coat it well, I'll add a little bit of salt to these in about 10 minutes. Once they're fully coated, you just wanna leave them alone. They need to cook, they need to okay, brown. So we have the potatoes boiling. We have the onions caramelizing. It's time for a sip. This dish makes you work up a sweat and a thirst. Okay. Now it's time to make the pierogies. So let me just mention, people make their dough homemade. It can be bought frozen. People make this dish I hear with mashed potatoes and cheese like I'm doing today. You can also do it with minced meat. There's tons of different ways. And in my kitchen, there are no rules. I judge by my palate and what I wanna do. So I am doing it with mashed potatoes and shredded cheese and garlic and onions, but we have to make the pierogies. So let's make the pierogies. pierogies. I couldn't find the perfect size, but I did find this funnel that I think is gonna work perfectly. And I am just going to do this, turn it a little bit more, and then pull it up. 
and I'm going to set it aside. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I've used up all of my dough. Okay, so the pierogies or the dough, which will be pierogies when we're done, are all cut nice and round. And we are going to stuff these. We're going to add some filling to it, the mashed potatoes and the cheese. And then we're going to fold them and pinch them and all that good stuff. But first, we should check on those onions. Okay, so the onions are looking beautifully caramelized, not quite where I want them yet, but they are looking good. The potatoes are boiling great. As you can see, they are in the beef broth. That's gonna give this dish a lot more flavor. And um, when the onions are almost done caramelizing, I will deglaze my pan a little bit with some red wine. Okay, the onions are almost done. The potatoes are almost ready to be strained, but I want to show you, I wish you could smell this garlic. I already emptied one bulb out into my bowl, so I'm just going to get this one ready to add to my onions now because they're almost done. A lot of times you could just squeeze these bad boys right on out. You just want to make sure you get it all. We're gonna go on over and add these beautiful garlic cloves to the onions and we're gonna deglaze and they're gonna strain those mashed potatoes. Okay, we're adding in the garlic to the onions. Oh, listen to that. This is going to be amazing. Right now, I'm gonna take that opportunity to deglaze my pan a little bit. Not too much wine. This is gonna cook down for maybe another five minutes until all of that wine is absorbed and soaked up in the onions and the garlic. Oh, that's gonna be delicious. Okay, I have started straining the potatoes to mash. I'm going to add in the sour cream. I'm not using a hand mixer, as you notice. I'm not using anything except for a fork, and there is a reason for that. I'm using about, I used about two cups, two and a half cups of potatoes and about a cup of shredded cheese and about a teaspoon and a half of sour cream. I am going to add some kosher salt, but these potatoes do not need much more flavor. And they're so tender that you're gonna be able to mash them with a fork. And that's what I wanna do because I want that texture in the pierogi. And I use the sour cream oops, for a base to give it that added creaminess. But I don't want them watery or mushy. That's why I choose to just use a fork. Okay, the mashed potatoes are where I want them. It's time for a set. And now we stuff. Okay, we are adding the filling to the pierogi and then we're just going to Pinch it, and then when I'm done pinching it closed, I'm gonna take my fork when they're all done and just tighten them up a little bit more. We're only, we're not, you know, using maybe, what is this about? A teaspoon of the mashed potatoes. I'm gonna make sure they're closed up. And what I meant by the fork was kind of just take your fork and just kind of, you know, all the way around, gives it a really pretty look. Now we're going to stuff all of them. My pan is preheating to saute <laughs> these in some butter. My butter's ready. Okay, I'm going to add in the pierogies to my saucepan that is heated on medium to medium high. And I am going to cook these until they are a golden brown on each side. For about 
maybe two to four minutes, we'll see. And then we'll add in our beautiful caramelized onions and garlic. Now, look, they are dark brown. I didn't use that much wine. I did let it cook through. What you're seeing is dark brown caramelized onions. These are not sauteed. These are caramelized onions. And then we have some beautiful garlic cloves. All right, these are ready to be flipped. Nice and crispy. Golden brown. So it was just about three minutes on each side. And then we'll do that again. And then we'll add our caramelized onions and garlic. All right, I've added a little more butter. I'm gonna add the onions and garlic into this. Let it cook all in there together. So it gets that wonderful caramelized onion with the garlic. Oh, and the mashed potatoes and the cheese. It's just gonna be fabulous. Okay, they are done. Ready to be plated. The pierogies are done with the stuffed mashed potatoes, cheese, caramelized onions, and garlic. Last thing to do is just garnish with some fresh curly parsley and we are done. Well, not completely done until we taste. <laughs> you gotta make sure you get the onion and the garlic in the first bite. Let's see. Mm. I really have been missing out. Absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel and watching this video. Remember, if you like it, please subscribe, please share. Also, I have a website, www.angelmielli.com. Please subscribe to that. There's all kinds of good stuff on there. And then lastly, my book, Home is Where You're Cooking, is available on Amazon in all versions, Kindle, paperback, and hardcover. And I think, which my second book is in the works, I think this might make the cut. Happy cooking!